Hey guys, welcome back to Card Review, and I just had to review this card. I had to. I had to. I just saw the name. I'm just like, oh my god! I just lit up. I was like, oh my god! So, if you guys know me, of course I do play you Bell, but the deck that I play competitively um, is either Constellars or Constellar Knights, because I'm, you know, I'm debating and trying to uh, pretty much take the two decks and smoosh them together because I kind of feel like they could be smooshed together so as soon as I saw this card I was like there might be hope that they might have synergy with each other so today we are looking at Constellar Knight Diamond yes Constellar Knight yes oh my god uh, so hopefully you know both the Constellars and the Teller Knights can play it and we can both kind of just utilize it and hopefully it's really strong so it is a light worm all right it's a worm it's the effect. Rank 5. Okay, so what? I can go into this instead of Pleiades? 2700 attack, 2000 defense. Materials, 3 or more level 5 light monsters. How the fuck am I supposed to pull that off? 3 three level 5? How? I can't pull that off in Castellan Knights or Tele Knights. Okay. Hopefully you have... T hopefully you m you're like an M7. Hopefully. Alright, so... During your main phase two, all right, they, they wanted to go ahead and do that. So during your main phase two, so you don't attack with it, I guess. Um, you can also exceed summon this card by using a Telenite exceed monster you control as exceed material other than Castellanite Diamond. Exceed materials attached to that monster also become exceed materials on this card. Okay, so pretty much you just slap it on to a uh, Delteros or a uh, or a tri trivial trivial or whatever the fuck his name is because this is coming out and um what secrets of uh eternity yeah like stop stop changing the name damn names it's getting on my nerves yeah secrets of eternity not secrets of evolution secrets of eternity now so it's pretty much like the m7 of teller knight and it, it really does suck that it says teller knight like for a card called constellar knight i wish you would have had some why couldn't you just play uh by seeing this card using a teller XC monster that way you could have Constellars and Teller Knights use it, but no, you know, that would have been awesome, you know, instead of rank, you know, instead of going and having Pleiades, instead of going for M7, you go for this guy, or having Omega put this guy, you know, but no, they decided just Teller Knights, so I guess the name is just for decoration, that sucks. Alright, now I'm not still seeing the, the, the synergy between Constellars and Teller Knights, so that's kind of upsetting. So, he looks cool, and he does you know, have Constellan in his name, and that, it's a deck that I like, so, yeah. Alright, let's continue reading the fact, because we don't even know what this guy does. While this card has Exceed Material, neither player can send cards from their deck to the graveyard. Alright, so, uh, fuck shit alls, pretty much, that's pretty much what you say. So, pretty much, Teller Knights, you, you fucking just bust this guy out. Um, yeah, they can go ahead and have Shadal Fusion if they want to, but they gotta use from the hand. There's no Shadal Fusion from my deck. No, you can't send cards from your deck to Graveyard. No, no. Also, cards added from the hand to, from the Graveyard to the hand are banished instead. Alright, so, if you try to get that freaking uh, Shadal Fusion back from when I kill your Midrash, uh, yeah, no, it's banished. No, leave. Like, this card pretty much, they wanted to make sure that they... Have something to combat Shadals. They said, you know what, Telenites, they're losing against Shadals too much. We need to give them something to make them on par up with Shadals because they just lose so hard, you, you know? So they said to go ahead and go with this, and so far, th literally, this guy just says, fuck Shadals. That's literally what his job is. But he's not done. He's not done. There's more. Like Billy Mays up in here. During either player's turn, when your opponent activates the effect of a dark monster, all right, uh, uh, fuck Shadals. You can attack the same material from this card, negate the activation. If you do, destroy it. Fuck Shadals. Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, Shadals. That's pretty much what this guy says. God, alright. So, yeah, pretty much fuck Shadals. Rank it up with the M7 of Teller Knight. And fuck Shadals. That's pretty much what his job is. Uh, what do I think of him overall? Really? Uh, just disappointed. Just disappointed that he has nothing to do with fucking... Uh, with Constellars at all. Like, why did you... Like, literally, just take off the con. You could have just named him fucking Satella or Teller Knight, or probably Satella Knight Diamond. You didn't have to name him Constellar Knight. You just got my hopes up just to dash him. Overall, he's really, really, really difficult to get out because not only do you have to go and Chaos see him on top of a... Uh, of a freaking... Uh, what? A, a Deltaros who's three... 
or a Turtle who is also three materials, you know, it, you know. Instead of giving them this, you should have gave them two level four Telenite monsters. That's what you should have gave them. But instead, you gave them this, and I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I guess it's pretty much just the combat Shadals. It's pretty much what it looks like. If you ain't really using him for Shadals, he's not that good. So, mm. <sighs> I'm just disappointed. Really disappointed. I I was hoping for something so awesome. I was like, wow, was it about to have some synergy with the two decks? You no. Know, I guess I guess me trying to take the decks and do it as a lost cause because it's really lame. I really thought that they were going to have synergy. I thought it was going to be Constellar, Knight. Stellar Knight, Constellar, put them together, they were going to have synergy with each other, they are about to be their tits, the shit, and it turned out that this is what I got. Really disappointed, but overall not a terrible card. <sighs> oh well. Alright, so, tell me what you guys think about uh, Constellar Diamond. If you guys have any interesting plays that you guys would do with him, go ahead and be, be sure to tell me in the comment section below. So, thank you guys for watching another episode of Card Review. Thanks for watching, thanks for all support. And I will see you guys next Tuesday with another card to look at. Thanks for watching.